All right, guys, welcome back. It is 4.30 in the morning here. It's a summer morning, and we are driving to New Hampshire to go fishing on the Eastman's fleet. It's a full day, Haddock, Pollock, uh, Gulf of Maine party boat. And I came on this boat last week. The weather was really bad. We weren't able to get to the zone. We came back in early. Fishing wasn't very good. However, it's a really popular boat here in New England. Everyone knows the Eastman's fleet. People drive from far and wide to come fish for the haddock, amongst other fish. So, that's me today, all right? There's a very slim chance of catching a halibut, Atlantic halibut, and it, it is that very slim chance that has me driving up here today. Uh, don't really have much interest in the haddocks or the pollocks, unless they're nice. But as far as eating the fish go, like, I'm not really interested in eating the fish so much as I am catching a rare and elusive giant flatfish. You know, that sounds amazing. And the odds are very slim, but they're there. All right, so let's go out there, see what happens. Pretty tight fit here. Old New Hampshire waters. Nice morning. This is what you like to see. Slick calm out here. Looks like we're drifting, huh? Good luck. All right, I don't know how you get seasick on a day like this, but those people managed to do it. And they also managed to bring some proper puke bags. So props to them. Uh, anyway, I don't know these waters up here in the Gulf of Maine. We're fishing somewhere between 120 foot and 220 foot. Okay, halibut exist here, and I know they are very rare, but I'm starting off with this 10 ounce bucktail and a big white grub, and I'm just kind of hoping for a miracle. But I also figure that a pollock or a cod or something else would likely hit a jig like this. Got one, right? Little haddock? Okay, short? Yeah, okay. So I change it up, I put a five ounce lead head with an eight inch grub on. All right, the 10 ounce seemed too heavy even for this really deep water. So first drift, I get nothing, no bites. Shark came up, huh? And so now I'm thinking maybe the little, <laughs> the low rig, the chicken rig with the, with the little mackerel on it, maybe that's the way to do it. So glow squid, mackerel, low rig. Let's try that. No pollock. There you go. That's a keeper, right? Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. There you go, buddy. Good job. Which one? Leave right here? Yeah. All right, now the people are starting to catch some fish. And I'm changing lures again. I'm getting no bites. This is a six inch glow gulp on a six ounce bucktail. Glow, also. Something's got to hit this. You got a shark. Oh, Jesus Christ. You got yourself a shark. Yeah, you want to swing it right over here? You want a picture of him? He has spines, so be careful. Don't try to grab him. <laughs> oh, look at that shark. Right there. What's that, a little mako? Poor beagle? He's gonna get your dogfish. All right, there were some epic tangles on this trip for fishing deep water, you know. 
And I'm not getting anything on those bucktails, those jigs I'm throwing. So I switch over to bait. It's about two hours into the day here. People are catching fish. I can't just sit there and catch nothing. So pretty much 20 seconds after I get down to the bottom, I hook up on my first fish of the day. Some bait. Tried the bait. All right, and that is a haddock. And keeper size has to be 17 inches, which this one just barely makes. And this is the most popular fish up here. This is what the people want. They come to Eastman's for the haddock, you know, and they come for the variety too, but I think the haddock is really the most sought after of the fish. Short haddock. Think so? Yeah. 19 inches? Oh, there we go. 18. Very quick bites. Drop down, quick bite. No halibut. Halibut is not likely. I jigged for like two hours, got nothing. And then I put bait on and I got three fish and three drops. I don't know how to jig these fish because the captain came down, he jigged a double header pollock and a cod in pretty short order. So I don't know how to catch fish up here in the Gulf of Maine, but I'm gonna do some more bait fishing here on this next drop. I'm going, you guys. Make sure you don't make that call. Pump real tight to the bottom. Don't go along that line. Yeah, that's a different all right, the squid was getting quick bites down there, but there were a lot of small fish. So I had some mackerel. I'm mean, dropping a mackerel head down now, thinking maybe something a little better might hit. I'm just curious if it's one of the ones we just got back. Oh, it might be. Wrong kind. Codfish. Let me know if you feel any line here, Mr. Lee. My line is close to yours, so let me know if you feel it. I have a shock. Oh, a Polak. Let's see if he's a keeper. Mackerel. Oh, he's good. Oh, redfish. I want a redfish. Redfish. Oh, no. Nice cod. Some fish down there. Fat cod. Husk deal. Yes. 
please be a red. Is it yours? No, it's yours, but yeah, I think. Oh, okay. Cool. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. That's not a keeper. How big do these have to be? Nine inches. That's a keeper. It's a keeper. Oh. You got it back. There you go, Lee. The redfish. Yeah, redfish. Yeah. That's what I would I believe it. They look good. They are. They're really good eating. I'm excited yeah. to eat that redfish. Yeah. <clears throat> I would just leave them. <laughs> don't even bother. Yeah, okay. You're just asking for trouble. Okay. You don't want the bloodbath. Okay. Is that a tuna? No, that was a shark. Shark? Oh wow, that is cool. What, what, what is Wolffish and a red. Shorts by a quarter inch. That's too bad. Um, okay. <laughs> he just swallowed the fucking thing. I need you in my life. <laughs> Another cross. Another cross. Yeah. Cusk. Yeah. So you want to bleed him, right? Yeah. Before you touch him, before you put him in the... That's better. Ooh. Another cusk. This one this is That's a cusk, huh? Are these um got any like sharp teeth or anything to worry about? Uh, they got some teeth on them, but ground by the gills? Yeah, I wanna go around the gills though. Around the gills. You go through them? Yeah. Then they got Okay. I'm 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 It's a weird fish. Full of worms. Are these wormy? They can be, yeah. This one looks wormy. You cut the belly meat out. Okay, I'll help you guys you out. I got you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Pain in the ass, huh? Yeah. Okay. You really have to hold on to it. Where's he going, Chris? Ah, oh, right in that tote there. No size limit, guys. They're all keepers. Oh, that's Lee's. You can just put it right there in the anywhere. Nice cusk. Nice cusk. Good cusk. Yeah. I'm, I got uh, something. I hope it's a redfish. I want a redfish. A real proper one for dinner. Now I see why you have the electric reel <laughs> reeled in all this time. Oh, redfish. Redfish. Ugh. <laughs> Don't think that's a keeper. Ooh, that one's a keeper. Look at that Pollock, wow.
Uh oh. Just big enough to keep. Can you put him, let out line and get him on the ground? Here, actually, just, here, look at, I got it, I got it, I got it. Don't hold that line, don't hold that line. Gotten hot now. <laughs> See? Fucking said it. Shut up. Everything. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's disgusting, yeah. So, a couple drops with the bait yield less than desirable results. A dogfish, and then I get picked clean on that drop. So, I cast the bucktail out with the gulp, and like every cast with the bait, every drop, you're getting bit down there, so it's like there's plenty of fish. Figure something's gonna hit this jig. Let's come up, guys. We gotta slide the wedge around. Alright, so this drop, we got a couple of these redfish. Oh, that's cool. Reds, a couple, whatever those things are, cuskeels. This one's got tons of worms in them. Come in uh, September and November. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do September 16 and 17, two days straight of marathon. Up here? Yeah. I'll go there every day. I'll go. Yeah. I, think, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not smart. I don't know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty big. Big, yeah. Kala and yeah. Ka and herring, everything big. <laughs> I was reading. I like this. this is a baby. This is small, right? They're just born today. Yeah, yeah. I read like. Trust me, yeah. Yeah, I believe you. I read like November, December, it's good for big pollock. But the weather's so bad, they don't go like once a week or so. But I'll go. Because that, that time of year, it sucks in Rhode Island. Yeah. Yeah. Eastern man. No, Yankee. Gloucester. Yankee. Yeah. Is in November. Finished. Here, December. War is open. Yeah. Open fishing here. You guys want to lift that pollock in? Don't leave them bouncing. Fish. Mm -hmm. Big cusk, no. Mm. Two. Two sharks.
show it. See the shark, Mr. Lee? The shark over there. Swimming on the surface. Small attic. Short attic. We got a, what's going on with that thing? You got a lamprey on him? You got a lamprey? Oh, what the fuck? It's like a, it's like a uh, parasitic eel. See it along the deck down there? Oh, down there. That's bait. That's what that is. Lamprey. Damn, there you go. Don't say big dog. Yeah, don't say that. Don't make them both kick your ass. I'm catching the dog, I'm catching your ass. Another short haddock. Double dog. Oh, God. Here, swing your steps, take a step back. Okay. It's too late, I might not Okay. I do not have pliers, unfortunately. There we go. Take that. There you go. I am not going there. Are you a man? 
kill up try the fish will slow there. Some of you guys got a feel but the dog's definitely into this today. As far as the pool goes, it's one of the bullets, maybe one of the bigger guys. Lucky enough to get a few you want him clean, just slide them all the way to the back. Anything on deck you don't want to go empty the Oh, that's there. it. Well, that's all we got. The weather held out for us. Fishing wasn't bad. I couldn't catch anything on a jig. I caught some fish on bait, like some fish that I never caught before. So all in all, good day. No halibut, but what are you going to do? All right, I'll see you guys next time.